I did not know that I can't actually upload pre-recorded video yet. And um, I was playing some more of the game last night and I just decided I'm just going to record my playthrough and I'll just um, upload my gameplay later. Just like do a super cut. And so I did that and um, yeah, I, I found out that I can't do that yet. So I'm just going to um, stream it so that we have Spiffo's story mostly in order. So um, at the end of my last stream, um, Spiffo got her ass got. She left this bag here in the middle of town full of books and um, I need to get that back to base. So I remade Spiffo in West Point and had her go grab it and just find the first car that she could find that worked and I found this sweet Buick Wildcat and I, oh my god, that was such a lucky find but rest in peace that car didn't last very long. Uh, turns out that tires can actually explode in this game. <laughs> I've never had that happen before. Uh, so. Uh, like, I knew that the tire quality could go down to 0%, but I didn't know that the tire could actually explode. So, um, that was a thing that happened on the railroad tracks. Um, it probably doesn't help that I hit one of those concrete barriers on the way back, too. So, yeah. I managed to get the bag back home. Um, this whole playthrough was actually not very long. Um, so this super cut's probably going to be only like 15 minutes, but, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to fill in the gaps. See, see that car is missing a tire. That car is missing a tire. <laughs> I don't know if it's one of the mods that I have installed that actually makes the tire go away, like when it explodes, but, um, I've never had that happen on any of the multiplayer servers that I've played on. So that was an interesting little, um surprise. <laughs> uh, let's see what else happened. Kind of did some base cleanup. Um, mostly just quiet base building afterward. Just kind of zomboid and chill, you know? Looked around for some more stuff. Uh, didn't really find anything. I have plans to take those vehicles back into the base and just use them to grind out mechanic skills. Uh, let's see. I was grinding out some other skills like carpentry, um, metalworking. Finally got a TV in the base, so I started using some of the VHS tapes to skill up and that was pretty fun. It was actually not that fun. I'm missing one of the carpentry books and oh my gosh, those those two levels of carpentry are going to be absolute shit mode and I'm, I'm not taking my ass back to West Point <laughs> to get that next carpentry book. Not for a minute. We're just gonna have to live at um, carpentry level four. <laughs> so yeah, that's a thing that happened. Did some base organizing. I have this habit of um, always putting things in containers like the shelves and stuff and trying not to make piles everywhere. Because when you're on multiplayer servers, piles of items on the floor, like excessive piles, can actually bog down your server's speed. And um, it was just causing a lot of problems on some of the servers that I was on. So I developed a habit of like, whenever you just have shit and you just, you know, gotta drop it somewhere, like, don't drop it on the floor. Like, put all your shit in a shelf or um, in a filing cabinet or something. Just you know, or like put it in a garbage bag. Like I collect the garbage bags obsessively now as just like junk collectors. And then I'll just sort through it later. So that's a fun thing to keep in mind if you ever play Zomboid on multiplayer is just try not to leave like your shit on the floor and like just these massive piles because it's, it's bogging down the server and it's giving everybody a bad time. <laughs> Gosh, these filing cabinets are so ugly. That's one thing I want to do in the future with this base is I want to redo the floors. I want to redo the walls. I want to take out all these filing cabinets. I think I actually go through and I weld down these filing cabinets later in this playthrough. 
to try and get some metalworking skills. And funny enough, even though I went through and welded down all those things, I still didn't have enough metalworking skill points to um, get to, I think, what was I trying to get? Level four or something? Yep, just casually reading all the books. I saw somebody with a mod that let them just like shift highlight all the stuff that they wanted to read and they would just batch read it. I cannot find that mod anywhere. I, I don't even know what I would look for. Shift select batch read, I don't know. I feel like I redid her traits on this build, but I don't remember which traits I swapped out. I know she doesn't get car sickness anymore. I'm pretty sure she doesn't. She still has the alcoholic trait though, and I didn't realize how annoying that was until she started <laughs> having withdrawals and like every five minutes I'd get a message above her head saying, I need alcohol, I need alcohol. And I'm like, damn girl, okay, mood, but I mean, we don't got no alcohol in this base. You drank it all. So that's going to end up having to be my um, next priority is getting her some alcohol. Probably going to have to raid one of the nearby bars or something. But I mean, I don't have to. I have the non-lethal alcoholism trait, so it's not going to kill her, but it definitely debuffs her. Like, she starts getting, like, I think she starts getting queasy, and she gets, like, really high panic and anxiety, and, like, she's definitely just not going to be, like, fighting fit when she's in the middle of that. So, she's, she's a hot mess right now. She's going to be a hot mess when I go looking for a bar to go raid. One thing I love about this base location is that there is a lot of metal to grind out metalworking skills on. I also found out that those giant like um, barrels, those giant metal barrels actually contain fuel. I don't know if that's part of one of the mods that I have installed for this playthrough that I've just never had on any of the servers I played on, but I didn't know that there was actually anything in those barrels. I thought they were decorative. so. Whenever I played on multiplayer and I saw these things, I just welded them down. But I guess if you walk up to them with a gas can, there's fuel in them. So that could have um, that could have saved a lot of heartache on a couple of the servers I've played on. I'll have to go through my list of mods for this and figure out which one it is specifically that makes those barrels come with fuel, like fuel that you can use and siphon out.
So here I am getting dirt, I'm getting bags of dirt to try and make a um, small sheet metal mold. And I, I didn't have high enough metalworking skill. <laughs> and you know what's funny is I do that every single time. I always start going to make the um, sheet metal mold and I'm always one level off. It's hurt. It's really hurt. So at that point, I was just like, all right, screw it. I'm just, I'm just going to start decorating my base and like unloading the blue truck. Gosh, that poor wildcat. That was such a beautiful car when I found it. It was a crisis, though. Spiffo had to get back to base. <laughs> It's all good though. She's a mechanic. She'll fix it. So another really dope thing about this base location and why it's absolutely my favorite in the game right now is that there's usually a lot of cars parked outside in that parking lot by the um, depot office. And you can just like bring them in to this like building and just kind of stash away a whole bunch of cars and pretty much just have your own chop shop. But I guess it, it just depends on everybody's play style. My play style is definitely Apocalypse Mechanic Simulator. So <laughs> that's, uh, that's my joy in, in Zomboid is getting a whole bunch of cars to base and just grinding out mechanic skills and finding a favorite car, usually like some kind of old muscle car, and trying to get it as close to 100% across the board as possible. That and actually like the base building aspect. Banji calls it, um, what did Banji say? Sims 2. <laughs> Banji says uh, uh, that I simsed it. <laughs> Gosh, this base needs to be cleaned up. Oh, and here's another aspect of this base that rocks is there's this huge body of water and you can wall it off and have a completely safe fishing area. And then just right past that is a huge forest. So you've got a shit ton of wood and usually not a lot of Zeds out here. I I haven't seen there, there ever be like a lot of Zeds, but later in this clip, like there, there's a couple south of this little lake. I've also got that mod installed that makes the logs like way lighter so you can carry a whole bunch. Um, normally on all the servers I play on, we don't have that. So I would normally be coming out here with like a ton of um, sheet ropes or twine ropes to lug all the logs back. Or I would probably have just waited to like make some kind of gate so I can just drive my truck out there. But I figure this time, since I have that lighter logs mod, I could just like carry the logs back and forth to the truck in a, in these bags. So did that, tried to level out some carpentry skills, made a bunch of spears. I kind of like, I hate saying this because I, I love spears in basically every RPG I ever play. Like I'm always a spear or a lance main, but um, I hate spears in this game so much. <laughs> like crafting so many spears is the fastest way to level your carpentry. And um, they're, they, they are useful. Some people make their entire build around a spear combat player, and it can be really effective, but I just, it's not my cup of tea. So making all those spears just is painful. It's like such a waste of wood. At least to me, I'm sure that spear players are just like, yeah, more ammo. It's a bummer too, because like the spears in this game, they break so easily. And I think that's the only reason I dislike spears. I, I don't like things that break easily. That's why I like the crowbar or I like the axe. I don't think I have a preference 
between crowbar versus axe, speaking of which. Maybe crowbar, but um, that's literally only because um, when the axes break, you have to find another one if you want to go logging, and that's a pain sometimes, depending on where you're based at. So here I am sledging out all the support beams because, you know, video game logic. It's not going to make the building collapse or anything. And the upper half of those support beams are going to be up there still. <laughs> so that makes a lot of sense. And that's that.